Welcome to Slimefoot the Stowaway. As far as opening hand goes, yeah, I love this hand a lot. We're going to keep on this one. We have two lands in the hand. We have two um, two mana rocks. We have Vraska. Got some protection for um, Slimefoot. And we have some way to uh, smuggle some saplings over there to Kirkesh. All right. And then actually, I'm really excited about playing against Kirkesh. It's been, um, let's go ahead and get down Lano War Elves. Yeah, I think that sounds good. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. I've never played against him. And it's one of, always one of those commanders that, uh, first of all, I really enjoy the art. But I've never... Um, I've always wanted to build them, but I've never thought about where to start. So hopefully this is a pretty good showing uh, from our commander stack. I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get down forest, and uh, man, I really want to ramp right now. So let's go ahead and go for um, let's go for Felwar Stone. I guess technically, let's do this. Let's let's get down Lightning Greaves. Yeah, then we can ramp after that. We'll get the land drop down for next turn. Um, we'll be able to get down Slimefoot, throw the Lightning Greaves on there, and they'll be protected. So I kind of like going for that. Um, let's go ahead and get the Swamp down. Heck, excuse me, Blooming Marsh. Let's go for Slimefoot. And then I'm going to cover our commanders in just a second. Let's get see if the Lightning Greaves is good. Keep our fingers... Oh, there it is. All right. Um, let's go and push in for two. Put our opponent down to 28. In a in, a, in a, an Aristocrat's deck, this may make the difference in the end. So <laughs> we're going to go out swinging for two. That's going to be two total commander damage. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. Uh, we're playing Slimefoot the Stowaway. He's already on the battlefield. Whenever a sapling you control dies, Slimefoot... Deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Then for four mana, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. I'm just going to get down an etch champion. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go for Felwar Stone. I don't think I'd like that. Let's go for Felwar Stone. Let's go for... Get the land drop down. Let's go for Mind Stone. And we'll be able to get down Smuggler's Copter. That way, if our opponent does want to swing in next turn, we can at least crew up Smuggler's Copter and be online for that. Uh, anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. Playing against Kirkesh, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but I'm also wrong a lot. Uh, whenever you activate an ability of an artifact, if it isn't a mana ability, you may pay red. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for that copy. I'm just going to get down Arcbound Crusher. All right. So you draw two. Draw two Bloodstained Mire. Let's go and get down Bloodstained Mire. Um, yeah, I want to get some good saplings going. Let's go ahead and go for Worn Power Stone. We can go for Vraska here in a second. Let's see if our opponent's going to be, uh, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and crack Bloodstained Mire. Let's go ahead and grab Bayou off of that. Get down Bayou. Um, let's go for a sapling activation. There we go. And let's go and crew up Smuggler's Copter. Or do we want to leave it on defense? No, we're okay with that one. Let's go and crew it up for one. Tap that sapling down. I guess technically, let's go ahead and actually crew up a slime foot on this one. There we go. That way we can leave that sapling up to block. We're going to click done on that one. Uh, we're going to send the smuggler's copper into the red zone. <laughs> Giving Kirkesh a, a wonderful sapling as a Christmas present. Yes, we're going to use that ability. And then we draw into forest. Let's go and get rid of that forest. And then anything else, we're going to pass the turn. Swing in for uh, three. Put our opponent down to 25. And then kick it back over to them. All right, so we cover both commanders free time. Um, but yes, as far as Slimefoot goes, uh, this is the first video I'm putting out of Slimefoot on my channel. Um, if you want to catch the series, I did release it on MTGO Traders last week. So if that's something you want to catch up on, it's definitely up there and live right now if you want to see that. I do want to chump block with a uh, sapling token at this point. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind kind of preserving our life total. We're going to be doing the same thing anyway. Okay, let's see what we're drawn to. Drawn to Spore Swarm. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and make a... Actually, we'll get three saplings off Spore Swarm, so let's go ahead and go for that. It's going to be one, two. Let's leave up Mind Stone, just in case we need to tap out for that. Tap out for red, and then tap out for one green. Get those three saplings onto the battlefield. Um, let's go ahead and crew up Smuggler's Copter with Slimefoot once again. And let's go ahead and push in for three. We're going to get that loot. More than likely, we're going to go for Vraska, but at this point right now, you know, never hurts to go ahead and look. Yes, we're going to draw a card off of that. Parale Ooh. Parallel Lives. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and get rid of Vraska. I'd like to keep her on the battlefield, but with Parallel Lives, that's exactly what this deck needs, and we have a lot of mana, too, so I really like that. All right, getting in for three is going to put our opponent down to 21. Um, let's go for Parallel Lives. Tap out Lana War Elf Screen, and then tap out for Swamp. All right, anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Kick it back over there. Uh, but yes, as far as the deck goes, this is an Aristocrat-style deck. Green, Black, Aristocrat, that's what I would classify it as. Um, we are running Slimefoot. As you can tell, it's a commander. But outside of that, another way to kind of amplify Slamfoot's... Um, ability to close the game out is to add stuff like aristocrats uh, we got blood artists in here zulu port cutthroat falcon wrath noble now if you've been a long time viewer of the channel you may be surprised that i would run blood artists or falcon wrath noble in this deck i mean it may seem kind of weird uh if you want to check on my health don't worry about it it's okay it's always good to run <laughs> blood artists in here if you're new to the channel i uh, have a, a very strange fascination uh, with uh, aristocrats it's always a lot of fun all right we're just gonna go and trump block across the board on this one we'll just get those sapling tokens going 
Opponent did get down Colossus of Akros too. All right, I'm going to send those three over there. That's going to be three damage to our opponent, and we're going to gain three life. Hopefully trying to negate a lot of this uh, this attack coming across. I always yield to that. It's going to be one damage and put this back up to 26. Okay. So we draw into... Draw into Diabolic Intent. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go for more Power Stone. Let's get those saplings going. It's going to be one, two. Let's go and tap out on Failmore Stone. And then we might end up grabbing a Skull Clamp on this one. I think that sounds pretty good. Let's go for Diabolic Intent. That's going to be Black and then Forest on one of our sapling tokens. I guess technically we should have uh, crewed up Smuggler's Crop in response to that, but we may want to do it on defense now. Um, let's go and grab Skull Clamp. There we go. Let's go and get down Skull Clamp, tap out for one off that Blooming Marsh. And then let's go ahead and go for... Let's go for Skull Clamp on another Sampling Token. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's tap out on Mind Stone. Draw two more cards. Let's go and get the Forest down, and then anything else. Now we're going to go and pat... Well, I guess we could get two Samplings, and that'll be four. With... Yeah, let's go and do that. We're just going to cast it across the board. That way we can start doing more stuff. All right. Anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Yeah, if we didn't have parallel lives on the battlefield, I probably would have held back on going for your sapling migration. Uh, simply just to go for that kicker. You know, there would be eight saplings on the battlefield. But with Skull Clamp, we have a lot of stuff. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that we'll be able to do next turn, uh, drawing a bunch of cards, and hopefully we can kind of stabilize. But you can pretty much see this is what the deck wants to do. We ramp into a lot of artifacts, get down something like Smuggler's Copter to get some extra value, kind of filtering through that card draw. And then you want to have some sort of amplifying effect to go for parallel lives um, now i did um this initial build of Slimefoot started out as kind of spore counter creatures which was fun and it's really fun playing the spore counter creatures but um, they're a little slow sometimes and so it can be kind of uh a little rough um Puddle's gonna be swinging in for eight yeah we'll go and take it at this point right now i'd rather be drawing eight cards next turn put it down to 20 drawn to kodama's reach um let's do this let's go ahead and go for let's go for skull clamp on a sapling token yeah, I like that. Uh, tap out for one black. Okay, we're going to get that slime foot activation. Excuse me, that triggered ability. Draw two cards. Draw to Windswept Teeth. Okay, let's go and get the land drop down for the turn. Uh, let's go for one more Skull Clamp activation off this forest. It's going to be two card draw. Oh, yes. Draw a couple more lands. Um, let's go for one more activation off Sapling. Me two more card draw. I'm not really sure what we're digging for, but we need to get some good active. Oh, sapling symbosis. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's go and crack windswept heath. Let's go and grab forest at this point. I don't know if we want to shock in overgrown tomb. Um, let's go for sky shroud claim. That's going to be one two. Let's go and tap out on one red and tap out for one green. Let's grab a forest and another forest. There we go. I get those two lanes onto the battlefield, and then we're going to be looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have six total mana. I um, must go for one more activation off Slimefoot. Tap up for Lawn of War. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go for one more Skull Clamp equip on Mindstone. Draw a couple more cards. All right, there we go. Uh, anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. So we do have two saplings that we can chump block uh, on our opponent's creatures. They do have um, Kaldotha Ford Mage coming down that will be online for that, so we'll see what they're going to search up. But at this point right now, with that Tainted Strike, we're trying to get into a point to where if our opponent does get a lot of artifacts going, let's say they go for that Forge Master activation, um, having something like Tainted Strike and a lot of saplings on the battlefield would really help us kind of go ahead and close the game out. Uh, we do have Sapling Symbosis, which is absolutely wonderful for the deck. Um, create a 1-1 one -one Sapling token for each creature that you control. Um, some of the cards, the uh, the sapling token doubling cards, uh, they care about how many non-token creatures you have, so having sapling symbosis out there um, really amplifies your board state. But at this point right now, we're just trying to draw into uh, Tainted Strike. That would kind of help give us a little bit of a, a safe bet. Mizium Mortar for four. Deals four damage to each creature you don't control. All right. Let's see. Anything in response to that? If we crew up Smuggler's Copter, is going to take care of it. Yeah, we'll get a few slime foot activations off of that. That's going to put them down to 10 and put us back up to uh, 25. But they're going to be swinging across with a pretty good chunk of damage. It's going to be 8. And then um, if they swing in with the Forge Master, which they do not. All right, swinging in for 8. It's going to put us down to uh, 17. And let's see what we draw into. Let's go and get Slimefoot Pop back up. Draw to Necrogenesis. Um, yeah, let's get this going. Um, let's go and get down. Um, we do control Swamp, so we're going to get down Tainted Wood. Let's go and go for Slimefoot. That's going to be 5 total mana. Fell more Stone. Tap out, one, two, three. And then tap out for one black. All right, it's going to get down slime foot. Let's go and stick those uh, lightning greaves onto slime foot. And then let's go ahead and go for another activation. It's going to be one, two, three. 
That'll be two more saplings onto the battlefield. Let's go and skull clamp onto one of those sapling tokens. We're going to draw two cards. And our opponent is sitting at 10 lives, so hopefully we can kind of outrace this onslaught. We'll see how much man... Ooh, drawn to Blood Artist. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go for... There'll be two more activations off the sapling tokens if we hold off on Blood Artist. But it'll also kind of start to amplify it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go and go for Blood Artist. That'll give us a little bit of extra life. And do we want to go for a Skull Clamp activation? We've got Smuggler's Copter to throw in front of one of those creatures, too. Yeah, let's just go and pass the turn, I think, at this point. Yeah, I like that. All right, we're going to kick it over there. So what we can do is we can crew up Smuggler's Copter on one of our creatures if we want to keep Slimefoot on the battlefield. That's going to give us three more creatures that we can at least kind of chump block to really start working towards our opponent's life total. Um, we could have gone for Skull Clamp on the Sapling token, but um, I like leaving it up as a chump blocker. Uh, they are sitting at one, two, three. All right, and that's going to be a few more Blood Artist triggers too. There we go. Love it. We'll see how they want to deviate out. All right, put the plus one counters on target artifact creature. So that will be Colossus. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they are sitting at nine mana. So we'll see if they get down the. Uh... And the good thing is that Colossus does not have trample. All right, let's get those three blood artist triggers. Always yield to that. Put us back up to 21. Let's see what artifact they're going to put onto the battlefield. An opponent goes for Vault. Exile all non-land permanents. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. Anything that we can do on our inset? No, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. So, they do have Vault online, so they can exile that. At this point, we'll just go and get rid of... Um, we got Woodland Cemetery, so we'll just get rid of Misty at this point. All right, we'll kick it over to our opponent. So with the Vault activation, uh, exile that and exile all non-land permanents. So that's going to get rid of a lot of our artifacts. Uh, thankfully, we've hit a lot of our land drops, so we're pretty much going to be online if they do end up going for that activation. Yeah, that's going to get rid of our opponent's stuff and our stuff, too. The only thing is, do we need to do anything in response to that? All non-land permanent... Yeah, I mean, we can't, we don't have a sack outlet, unfortunately. And that was activated during our end step. Yeah, that's fine. All right, get rid of the entire board. Uh, let's get Slimefoot Pop back up. Uh, we still have some more protection for Swiftfoot Boots if our opponent does have some sort of spot removal. And they're going to kick it back over there. Uh, we also have Necrogenesis, too, so we're going to start exiling some of those artifact creatures out of our opponent's graveyard. Would that be the best use of our mana? Let's go and get down Woodland Cemetery. So we are online for Swiftfoot Boots and swinging in with the creature. Songfoot's going to be seven. That's going to be one, five, six, seven. Swiftfoot for three. That's pretty much going to be our turn swinging in for two. Now if we go for Necrogenesis, that's one, two. Look at one, two, three. Creatures exiled out of the graveyard. That's going to be three saplings. And let's do this. Let's go for Necrogenesis. I like going for that. Let's get that down, um, and we can activate that at instant speed. But let's go and do this. Let's go and exile the Forge Master. Let's go and exile Arcbound Crusher. That way, at least we're going to be able to represent lethal on this one. All right. Let's go and exile Etch Champion. Actually, we need one more creature. That'll be four. But we can do Slime Foot and then Swift Foot Boost next turn. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's go and go for Saffron Symbosis. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Helps if we tap for green on one of those. There we go. Tap out for green. And then tap it down on Lana War Waste. All right. End up with four saplings on the battlefield. Uh, anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. So we're going to be able to swing in for four next turn. We will be online for Slimefoot, casting for seven mana, and equipping Swiftfoot Boots. So that's something that we can definitely start pushing in on our opponent. And with having those extra saplings on the battlefield. Ooh. Unless we get Inferno Titan coming down. All right. There we go. Don't wake Daddy. He just woke up. Somebody woke him up, and he's mad. All right, that's gonna be three damage taking care of those saplings, and then this is a pretty good game so far. All right, drawn to carry and feeder. Let's do this. Let's go and get down forest. Let's go for slime foot. That's gonna be seven total mana. Yeah, I think I like doing it like this. Let's get down slime foot. Let's go for swift foot boots. Let's go and get the boots onto slime foot. And then anything else, no, I think we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. So what we can do is Inferno Titan is going to be able to swing you next turn. We are at 21, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, we do have a Necrogenesis activation to go for Etch Champion. And then next turn we can get down Carrion Feeder and hopefully end up with enough saplings to either swing in and deal combat damage to our opponent or close it out with using Carrion Feeder as a sack outlet. Our opponent's going to go for Spine. Oh. We'll see if they target. More than likely we'll see... No, we're actually going to go for Necrogenesis. Okay, let's go and exile Etch Champion out of the graveyard. End up with one more sapling token. Now, if they'd gone for Swiftfoot Boots, they could have. That would have been all three damage to Slimefoot. So they still would have been in a weird spot on that one. All right. See so how they want to divvy it out. If they do choose the two sapling tokens, there's going to be two more triggers. Like I said, putting them down to four and puts us up to 22. All right. 
puts us down to 16 with uh, Inferno Titan swinging in. Uh, it's going to get down Temple of the False God. So any certain way we can sequence this one. Let's go ahead and go for a Slime Foot activation. That's going to be 1, 2. Get down Sampling Token. And then let's go ahead and make another Sampling Token. Let's go ahead and get down Carrion Feeder. Let's go ahead and shift the Lightning Greaves over to Carrion Feeder. And then let's go ahead and... All right, opponent's going to scoop it up. So what's going to happen is we're going to be able to swing in with Slime Foot for two. It's going to put our in Carrion Feeder. It's going to put them down to one. And then we use Carrion Feeder activation uh, to sacrifice one of our sampling tokens to close the game out. So you can definitely see where this deck's a lot of fun to play. You know, it's not necessarily over the top taking control of the game, but slowly working away at our opponent's life total and at the same time allowing us to have enough life to hopefully kind of stabilize, which we did. You can see where we beat out an Inferno Titan. But if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.